near-death experiences can be terrifying, and despite the queen and her clan having a huge number of staff and security on hand, even they cannot be protected from disaster, Hello Magazine reports. For example, in 1981 the queen was shot during a trooping the color ceremony. Marcus Sargent fired six blank shots in an attempted assassination of the monarch, which saw him tried for treason and sentenced to five years behind bars. After the incident, Prince Charles lavished praise on his mother's lightning speed reactions, she is a marvelous rider so, she has a marvelous way with horses, made of strong stuff. The incident was the second assassination attempt of the Queen, with the first being in New Zealand that same year. The 17-year-old boy fortunately missed. Prince Charles also nearly died when in 1988, when he and the group he was skiing with were hit by an avalanche. Charles lived to tell the tale, but his friend Major Hugh Lindsay was killed. Mr. Lindsay was bored by the royal family and was also the husband of a woman called Sarah who worked for the Buckingham Palace press office at the time of her husband's tragic death. In 2008, she told the Daily Telegraph the late Princess Diana helped her through the horrific ordeal. She said, the princess was fantastic. She used to ring me every Sunday evening. She was a dear friend someone I could ring at midnight and say, life is pretty grim. The Princess of Wales instinctively knew when I might be feeling down the school holidays and so on. She always had nice ideas about how to cheer me up. Princess Anne was nearly kidnapped in 1974 when a man attacked her car outside Buckingham Palace after a charity event. The car was only stopped when Ian Ball, 26, pulled his Ford Escort in front of Anne's car. A passing journalist, the driver of the car and protection officer James Beaton were all shot. Ian Ball, the kidnapper, demanded pounds 2 million to which Anne was reported to have replied not bloody likely. She ran out the car and the police officer wrestled Ball to the ground. Those shot were hospitalized and recovered from their wounds. Ball pleaded guilty to attempted murder and kidnapping and was detained under the Mental Health Act in Broadmoor. Sarah Ferguson revealed to the publication last year that she was held up for 20 minutes in traffic on her way to the Twin Towers in New York on September 11. The World Trade Center was destroyed while she was late to the meeting. She said, I take every minute as a blessing, I really do, and I really work hard at it. Because the minute you look far forward then you're missing now. The minute you look back, you can't go back. Kind of